Hello everybody and welcome back to another action figure diorama tutorial. This time I will make a back scene for the Detolf glass cabinet here. As you can see, I have some of my figures displayed in the cabinet, but no back scenes. So first of all, I have the measurements here of how big the pieces of the diorama have to be. So it's just a question of cutting this foam material I use here. It's not that thick but pretty easy to work with. So I try to be as precise as possible and cut out two pieces, one back piece and one floor piece. And of course you can do sides as well if you like, but I'll begin with these two pieces. This one is a little short here, but I will make two pieces to go on the sides. And then I have decided to do this type of pattern. I will go for a cargo or warehouse or maybe even spaceship theme. And I cut the lines first and then mark them with a pencil to make it more visible. So the piece in the back here and the floor piece with a few holes to make it more realistic. Then a quick test with a figure to see how it works. And before I continue with the base paint, I'll just add a few details. I want some pipes here to be attached to the back piece. And this is how it looks, and now we definitely need some paint. So as I usually do, I begin with a black base paint, black acrylic paint, thinned with water, and then I'll just paint the floor piece and the back piece. And it's not pretty, but leave it to dry, and then you can continue with the next step. In this case I decided to paint both pieces as well with spray paint. First a black coat of paint and afterwards a very light dust of grey paint to create a metallic look. Now this diorama is nearly finished at the first stage, so you could stop here if you like. You have a very clean metallic look and it works fine. I know already that I will proceed and do some weathering and make it look more dirty. So to do that I again use the masking tape here and a, well, a combination of regular paint and dry brush.
when the painting is done, it's time to put all the pieces together and see how it looks. And of course, it's important that it all fits inside the Detsol glass cabinet. And luckily it does fit very fine, the floor piece and the back piece, and with the lights on here, even though it's a bit dark, you can see how it looks. And of course, also with a figure. So if you have an idea, I just recommend to get started and make a back scene for your figures in your Detzolf cabinet. Thanks a lot for watching this video, leave a comment and subscribe if you'd like to see more.